Hey guys, today we're going to talk about inrush current and how to capture it on a, on a regular multimeter. So for inrush current, I'm going to use, as a demonstration, I'm going to use this little air pump, which is tied into a current loop here that I've actually wrapped the, wi the windings quite a bit to amplify the amperage that's coming out of this. Now this is just simulation only. Um, we're also going to use this clamp meter right here, which, is gonna, which has the max min feature on it, and that's how we're going to capture the inrush. Now inrush comes into play when you're, when you're, if you think about a vacuum cleaner. When you turn that vacuum cleaner on, sometimes you may see the lights in your house dim, and there's a reason for it. For, that, for a very, very brief moment, when you flip that switch, the, the vacuum is actually pulling a lot of current really fast. Uh, it'll settle down, and then you kind of get into your operating uh, current load. Um, that's the reason why you don't see circuit breakers blow even though the lights are dimming. So I'm going to simulate that here using this pump and we're going to show you uh, how that actually works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clamp meter, I'm going to turn it to the amp mode, I'm going to clamp onto this current loop here, and when I turn the motor on, you'll see that the clamp meter picked up about 105 amps. Now that would be the running amperage of this particular little pump. So to capture inrush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the range button and take me out of auto range, and I'm going to put me myself or put the meter into the 600 amp range, and then I'm going to hit the max min button. Now by doing that, it's actually a max hold. So the minute this meter t captures the 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 or reads the highest measurement, it's going to lock it in. So watch again when I press the switch. Now you see under operating temperature it was 100 amps, or operating measurement it was 100 amps. Now we see that the max was actually 287, and that is actually your inrush. So again, inrush capture can be done on any type of meter that's got a max min function.